This video is about how to heat up two plastic bottle caps, then press and thereby weld them together, then drill a hole so you can create water vortices, aka whirlpools, in bottles. There is a commercial product with a registered trademark of Tornado Tube that does something similar. But people always strive to make their own version. Some of the methods just don't work. Duct tape works, sort of, but it's floppy and invariably it leaks. Super glue doesn't hold. I tried to melt the bottle caps together, but the bottle caps got deformed if I held them over candles. When I tried to melt them on hot metal, the melted plastic got stuck. Don't tell my wife, but on a whim, I melted some bottle caps on her non-stick as in Teflon frying pan, and the plastic didn't stick. When cooled, the bottle caps really stuck together. Drilling a hole made them complete. Soon my middle school students were welding bottle caps together and taking home a quick science project free for the making. It's not necessary, but I find it's easier to hold the cap safely if I make handles like this that attach to the caps. Keep in mind, when the plastic melts, it'll be about twice as hot as boiling water. The heat setting is important for success. The heat should be medium hot, not by the setting, but by your experience and observation. Since every stove and hot plate's different, use the old cooking tip to gauge the heat in the frying pan. When a droplet of water dances like this, it's ready. Don't overheat. After about 30 seconds or so, on the hot surface, push the caps down a little. Within another 30 seconds at most, you should see a little bit of melted plastic appear around the edge when you push down. When it's visible evenly around the bottle cap, pull them off. I find a twisting motion helps break them free. Pretty quickly, before they cool, line them up evenly and push them together. Quickly dunk the assembly into cold water to stop more melting that could deform the rest of the cap and cause sealing problems. There are some troubleshooting tips at the end of the video. We drill a half inch or about 13 millimeter hole. I glued together some wood scraps to make it easy to drill with just a cordless drill and no drill press. The welded caps are held in position with the top of a bottle. Fill one bottle about two thirds with cool or cold water. If you cut up little pieces of the plastic label and drop them in, it's fun to watch them go around. They seem to speed up as they get near the center, and they're definitely going faster in terms of revolutions per minute, but I think they're going about the same velocity. Since the circles traveled get smaller, the revolutions per minute must increase to get the same speed, a phenomenon known as conservation of angular momentum. It's likely to take several attempts to get the bottle caps welded right. If the bottle caps break apart, keep them on longer or use more heat. If they stick, pull off sooner or use a pan with a better surface. If the inside of the bottle cap deforms, it could mean either pull off sooner or the pan is not hot enough. That's because by the time the surface is melted, the heat has spread to the rest of the bottle cap. Smaller bottle caps are starting to show up. You can put a small bottle cap on a bottle for a big cap, but if you do it vice versa, it won't seal. But if you break off this ring that's getting in the way, it does seem to seal. Yeah.